Hi, I'm Saul Kim, and I'm an architectural designer. My ongoing design study series, titled Architecture Anomaly, explores the idea of conformity between architectural elements. I get inspired by anything that's three-dimensional, whether it's a sculpture, a piece of furniture, or a household object. I'm interested in design of all sorts. My design approach is clean and elegant, but always aims to turn banality into spectacle. It inspires me to look at our world with different eyes, to find opportunities in everyday objects, and to imagine the architectural possibilities. Conventionally, architectural elements conform to one another like a puzzle to be constructed into a building. But I'm more interested in the consequences of elements being misinterpreted, misaligned, or deformed through the interaction with other elements. It allows me to be more creative when making form and space, speculating what the future of architecture might look like. In this domestic course, you will learn my design process for making playful and unique architectural spaces. For the final project, you will design an object and create a basic physical model for it. You will then create a digital rendering for it using Rhino 3D and V-Ray. I'll start by sharing with you some architectural designs that were inspired by daily objects. This will lead you to a creative exploration of architecture. After that, I'll show you all of the materials and tools that you need to make conceptual models. As I demonstrate a few form-making techniques, I'll explain to you how each design can be architecturally translated. Then, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to create a Rhino model based on your design. I will explain how the design techniques used for model making can be translated to 3D modeling and how you can achieve certain look and feel. I will also guide you through the process of rendering your Rhino model on V-Ray. Your rendering will be done in a studio-like environment with a seamless background and soft lighting. After this, I will show you how to render your final product so that you can share it with the world. To take this course, you don't need deep architectural understanding. However, basic skill in Rhino and V-Ray will be recommended. For this course, you need a cardboard box, paper, pen, cutter, tape, and other materials that you can easily find at your local craft store. And finally, a computer with Rhino and V-Ray will be required. Enter the world of design thinking and transform banal spaces into unique architectural masterpieces. Thank you.